How do you communicate with parents, with students, with your administrator? What are you doing today? You know, the old thing is to put your standards up on the board, but in digital environments, where's the board? Where do we put what we're doing today? One solution is to just use Google Slides. Google Slides is great because I can add a new slide every day and keep a running record of what I've done in the past. In fact, this year I'm using the same slides that I used last year because what I'm going to do is every day is I add a new slide at the top It says, what are we doing today? I have embedded this Google Slides into a Google Sites website. So that first slide is always what shows up on the website, so I never ever have to update the website. I also have linked the Google Slides in the signature line of my email. So anytime I email anyone, like my principal or a parent or whatever, it says click here to see what the daily agenda is, and they're always that first slide, the first thing they're gonna see is what we're doing today. And then they go to the previous slide and see what we did yesterday, etc. And so now that I'm using the same ones that I did last year, I can actually scroll all the way down and see what I did this time last year to see if do I want to do those same things or maybe I want to update it and change. But it's just nice to have that running record for me. I'm not suggesting that you reuse the same one every year. That's just what I'm doing this year. So let's kind of take a look. What I have is a Google Slides template for you. So you want to make a copy of the template. And what you'll see is when you click on this tiny arrow is I have changed the layout. So I have these six different layouts. I've removed the other ones and I have one for Monday, one for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And so what I would have to do is every day, this is what I did last year, I'm like, okay, I have Wednesday, I'm gonna add Thursday. Now, of course, that added it as slide two and I want it as slide one. So I would have to move it up there to the top, which, you know, wasn't that big of a deal. I just dragged it up. I never thought it was that big of a deal. But also, I wasn't always super consistent. There's a few times that I didn't post it, you know, life. Uh, so, and then I have to be like, okay, what's today's date? I never know what the date is. I have a Mac, and so on the little icon there on the side, it shows me what the date is. So I'm always going, I'm like, oh, yeah, here's what the date Sometimes I put the wrong date because I'm just a goober, you know. Okay, so I've actually solved this for this year. So on these slides, I have, do you see I have this menu that says auto date. Now it does take about a minute or so to load that if you make a copy. So I'm going to go ahead and do auto date. Now I want to get this started. So I'm going to come down to authorize. It is going to let you know that it has not been reviewed by Google. I'm going to hit continue. Okay, once you have authorized it, it might give you a really scary screen that says, back to safety, don't click on that, it is safe. You've made a copy, you are the owner, and you are accessing your own files. You're just giving yourself permission to your own files. So don't freak out about the permission screen. It's just you accessing your own stuff. Okay, so now that I've done the auto date and I've done authorize, I'm gonna go ahead and select automate okay and so it says a new agenda slide will be added Monday to Friday including holidays and to use the menu to stop automating the slides from being added so you can see over here that Wednesday Thursday Tuesday Friday was automatically added now what it's gonna do is every day when you select automate Monday morning at 4 a.m. and I'm not sure what time zone I'm in the central time zone, so it might be 4 a.m. my time, uh, unsure, right? So it's going to add at 4 a.m. the slide for Monday, and it's going to automatically put the date on it. And then on Tuesday at 4 a.m., it's going to automatically add a Tuesday slide. It's going to say Tuesday. It's going to say the date, and they're all color-coded, kind of like Skittles. On Wednesday morning at 4 a.m., it's going to drop a slide with the date right up at the top. Now because I'm doing a demonstration video, this whole thing is something I coded. So I went in and I modified the code just for the demo. So what you're gonna see here is they're gonna come in at different times because I manually set them to do it every minute. Okay, so you see these coming in over here on the left side, it says Thursday, now it says Tuesday, now it says Friday. They're just showing up here at the top. Uh, coming in rapid succession and they all say the same date today's date is 820 so all of these say 820 because uh, that's what it's automating 
So, but I trust me on Monday, if you come up here to the auto date and you do Monday, it's going to add a Monday slide to the top and it will not say 820, it will say Monday's date. And on Tuesday, it's going to automatically, I can manually add Tuesday. And hey, even if you just do it manually and you don't do the automation, it is, if you don't do the automation, it's still going to put it at the top so you at least don't have to drag it and it'll put the date on there so you don't have to remember what's today's date. So you can manually do it from the auto date. You can add it, All right, come up here, auto date, and I do Tuesday. Of course, it's throwing these all in there because now here comes the ones I automatically coded for the demo. So it's gonna be something like this. I feel like this is comical. I set them each to do it every minute, but they're doing them on the same minute, so they're all showing up at once. That will not happen to you. I made a copy of the script and I modified it for demonstration purposes that you can see how automatically it's gonna add a slide every day of the week with the date on it. It does not know your school calendar, so if Friday is a holiday, it's gonna post it on Friday. You know, for the whole week of Thanksgiving, it's still gonna post it every one of those days. So you just go in and just delete those slides. It's not really a big deal. Or you just write holiday uh, down for the agenda for the day. But it's really nice because I show up at school in the morning and I open up my agenda slides. I actually have them bookmarked at the agenda slides, bookmarked up in the bookmark bar of my Google Chrome. So I just open that up and then all I have to do is like, what am I doing today? And I just type that in. And now I can share this with my principal, I can share it with parents, I can share it with anybody, and they'll know what is going on in my class. And you now it's just basically what I would write on the board so when people walked in the room, they knew what we were doing today when they walked in the room. So now they can just do it in a digital way. Do remember that if you are sharing it with people that you do want to change the sharing permissions. So you'll notice that by default it is private, as is like every document that you create by default, it is private. So you're gonna to wanna to change those sharing permissions. You can just click on the share button and change those sharing permissions, or if you want, you can install my Chrome extension. Anyone with the link can view. So I'm gonna just click on this Chrome extension. Okay, so you see it says the permission was changed to anyone with the link can view. If you look at the share icon, it's no longer the padlock. It now has the little share man icon. So it is shareable, it also, had copied the link to my clipboard for me, which was very handy. So I'm gonna go to alicekill.com slash web store, and I'm gonna locate this. This is the Anyone Can View Chrome extension. It's totally free, it collects, none of my stuff collects personal information, PII, no user data. 